record on this thing. All right, welcome everybody to the crafting of the 2022 sigil for the year. Um, this has been going on now for I think at least four to five years, at least 2017, I think was the, uh, the first year this might have happened. Uh, and uh, as it goes here, folks on Patreon, bring in suggestions, um, little comments, phrases, ideas of what they would like to see brought in to the year, what we want to focus, manifest, um, bring into our lives as well as into our communities for the year to come. This is what we're bringing in. And a sigil gives us a point of reference, a way to look and consider and make an impact on our lives in the ways that sigils do, which is subliminally uh, kind of tapping into the rhythm and pattern of our lives. It can be something that you put on a candle, you can put it on your altar, um, you might put it on um, your mirror in your bathroom, uh, wherever you can carry it with you. There's so many different things that you can do. This is not a sigil where you burn, release, and forget about it. It's something where you can revisit, especially when you need a little bit of hope, a little bit of focus, whatever it is that we're looking to manifest this evening. So with that said, I'm going to get into the share screen mode and open up the whiteboard. Everybody, there we go. And we are going to put in here the 2022 sigil for the year. Woo! All right. So, with the sigil for the year, now I mentioned that we had at least 40 different uh, responses to adding things into the list. And every year, I kind of condense this down into ideally about 10 to 15 different things. Uh, with sigil with tree methods, you want at least two to three things, but if you have like a kitchen sink of like two dozen, it gets to be a little weighed down. It's a lot of stuff to go through. And often many of those concepts overlap or interlink in what they do in our lives. So I've gone through all of them and I've made a list of condensing them down. Uh, so if you see like, it's just not exactly what I said. Well, there are a lot of folks who were saying something similar. So we're kind of putting them into a category here. So the first kind of the biggest one that was on a lot of folks list is healing. And this was healing in a variety of different ways, um, emotional healing, mental healing, spiritual healing, physical healing, just again and again. I think this was the top one has the most amount of checks next to it. And related to it, but kind of in its own space is we also have health. And this is seen as personal physical health, but also health and well being of the community, uh, and kind of getting a tap, um, a baseline and foundation for that, and breathing life into that. And this will feed into a few other things that we have um, talked about. The next here, just going down from here, everything is fairly even after that. We have love and compassion. Kind of an important thing. Tapping into love is one of the, the greatest elements um, and compassion for each other and for ourselves coming in. Uh, another aspect is justice. Justice was repeated several times um, in seeing you know, justice and equity, equality um, for resolution for things in the past as well as we're moving forward. And we also have big one here is growth evolution, progress. So seeing a movement forward of some sort, uh, that type of energy in there. And this also connects to, and I loop this in here, is in the way that we are moving forward, that we also have um, releasing what doesn't serve us. So that helps us move forward into the future. We're also kind of jettisoning that extra, um, let's say weight, but what is holding us back, whether those are old ideas, um, concepts, um, people, <laughs> whatever you need to release in your life. Um, and that was also often connected with healing, since, but we've put healing into its own category. And next one in here is happiness and joy. 
not toy. <laughs> Not Spanish yet. Uh, happiness and joy. I think that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And here we have, um, it's kind of similar to with our growth, but I'm putting it into its own little sense is recharge, refresh, renew. Um, it, I guess it's related a bit to growth and evolution and progress, but there's also that return energy that's connected with that. So kind of putting that into its own. We have a lot of here. Hold on, I'm gonna um, mute myself for one second. Okay. Uh, inner balance and calm. A lot of folks were looking for that centeredness in there. And let's see from here, another big one that came up a lot was focus, discernment, clarity. And, uh, oop, I forgot. In that one sentence is peace. Peace comes in with inner balance. So we have that. And um, oh, also going back here was easing transitions. I have a lot of, um, it's a bit of a spider web <laughs> connecting all these things together. And the last one is rebuilding community. Connections. I can move this out just a little bit. Nice, there we go. All right, so that gives us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's see if anything else in here. So we have health and healing. We have love and compassion. And we have justice, growth, evolution, and progress. Recharge, refresh, renew, happiness, and joy. Rebuilding a commuting connection is here. Or easing transitions is here inner balance and calm and peace, focus, discernment, and clarity, and releasing the ways that um, no longer serve us. And one last thing in here, I see we did not include, came up a couple of times was environmental stewardship. So an earth focus as well. So let me see if I can bring this all right, so there we go. This is our list of things. So we have, we know that with step one, our brainstorm for, for what we're creating is the sigil for the year. Step two is brainstorming these elements. We have brought them here together. And next we are going to enter the design process. So let's see, getting our drawing element in there. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a little bit more room on the screen. So give me a moment here. I'm gonna move this up here since we know it's the, boom. All right, now we have a little more space. So when we think about healing, what sort of shapes or marks might we consider? Hands, perhaps. I'm sorry, what's that? Hands, perhaps. Hands, okay. Uh, so that gets kind of pictographic, but we can think of with the hand, we have five, right? So we could think of a star, five pointed star as an aspect of healing because it symbol I can symbolize that five. So I'm just gonna do all that right there. We might also see sort of a wavy line is healing sort of a little ocean wave? I always think of the spiral of the caducus. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say. All right, so we have the, whoops. Chunky is this. Ah, that is why. It's making this a little. So we have our little spiral going up, all right? We can also have a little snake energy in there. So we think of that. <laughs> See, it's very 
This is why I have a degree. It's a very fancy snake. <laughs> All right, so that's a good start for, for healing, uh, for health. You know, my kind of my baseline for health is usually a little plus sign. Makes it nice and simple, right? And it's also a target where we want to come into. Uh, we could also see it as a little crescent. Uh, this a little bowl of health, kind of what we're filling our bowl with. So makes, it makes it pretty easy and simple, health focus. Um, love and compassion. Um, for most folks, this is going to be a heart. Makes it pretty simple, right? When we think of love, we instantly think of a heart. We might also think of an open heart, a little spiral heart. All right, it's kind of a nice place to, to put that in there. All right, now justice. Justice is one of those ones that gets a little tricky. Uh, About the feather of Mahat. Could Yes, we could do a feather. Feather right there. Um, on that same sense, we might have scales. Right, some sort of scale or balance. We might think about an equal sign. Uh, we might think about a little sword. Also shows up in the justice card. So that gives us a few things to work with for justice. All right, growth, evolution, progress, releasing what doesn't serve us, easing transitions. Know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I tend to think of a, um, um, a seed bursting forth when it still has like the cotyledon and it's just about to like flip its leaf up. Mm. That germination process where something kind of springs forth. Yeah. So we could have that little coming up. I was thinking an arrow. Could be an arrow. Progress, you know, moving forward. I was thinking of something along the lines of like um, roots, but as like the family tree, like my brain was thinking Darwin for mm. some reason, just kind of like the uh, more angular kind of root system. Okay. Is it we, we can do something like that where it's going kind of like evolutionary tree or the tree of species or that yeah kind of growth from there from um, the releasing what doesn't serve us i get a crenellated tower top from the tower card hmm. but what about something gentler I mean, not everything we're releasing has to be tossed aside. Sometimes you just want to mm -hmm. release it to the wind. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Ooh, we, we water could wash it away. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We can put a little. Donna, that reminds me so much of um, a milkweed seed being blown in the wind. Yes. The way it's yes. a seed, but it has action behind I, it. Right, right. Because I think some of the things that we want to release it's not that we're finished with them it you know like it's not like we're banishing it we're just saying go on find another you know somebody else can use you now <laughs> some things in 2022 need to go away <laughs> well some things do but that's banishing <laughs> oh, releasing so we can we can those are all good ideas so we can have <laughs> the little seeds in here uh, we could also have uh, a spiral with all of this energy. Mm. Can could we have a spiral in kind of a triangle shape since the triangle is change? Oh uh, yeah. So oh, like um, yeah, the triangle it literally stands for change. Got that? Yeah. Yeah. What's right. also nice is that the triangle. In geometry, that's when you, the first time you get a plane and it's also stability, which we could also use. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll see where that's probably gonna pop up as we go down the list here. So I think we have a lot to work with to consider for, um, for our growth, evolution, progress and releasing, easing transitions, happiness and joy. Yeah. 
No, I could definitely see a star or in maybe yeah. more of an asterisk sort of way for Asterix that. Asterix for sure. Yeah. Yep. You can do that. And it can be, I'm just trying to do an 8.1. You can do an 8. could be a 6. So I think that's good because it stands in for what is your happiness? What is your joy? It's going to be what you're filling in for that um, and how you wish to see that. All right. So recharge, refresh, renew. Candle flame? Could be a candle flame. Something like that. Thinking also a little bit of the circle it's moving like an Ouroboros or mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. So, and actually, let's move it so that it's going this way. Mm. So that way it's future forward rather than rewinding. <laughs> it's not uh, rewind. <laughs> <laughs> it's renew. No, no, thank you to the rewind. Yeah. <laughs> Try something new here. Mm. All right. So that gives us some things for that inner balance and calm, centeredness and peace. So I think often of a circle, right? You kind of think of your core, your center. It's a good place of doing that. Um, might see the triangle as being that stable sense of peace and stability coming in. What about concentric circles? Mm, yeah, Concent that sounds lovely. Concentric circles? Yeah, ah. like, like a bullseye almost. Oh, yes. Or ripples, like ripples. Making a little owl face now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my brain went concentric triangles and I'm going, what does that look like? What is Sorry. That's where my brain is. Okay. I think those are all good things to think about. That little drop of water into um, that balance. So focus, discernment, and clarity. And I could work here. And I'm like, yes. I was gonna yes. say an I, yeah. So we can have our classic eyeball. We might also have the more of the Nazar. That is really hard to read. <laughs> For some reason, with clarity, I was thinking of a little hand mirror too. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, the little boop. Uh, it, now it looks like a spoon, and I having now just watched all four Matrix movies within. <laughs> oh, there is so no. that. <laughs> spoon, mirror, <laughs> symbolism. It's all good. All right, so we have our focus, discernment, and clarity coming in. Um, rebuilding community and connections. Well, I think of a cobweb. I think of a spider's web. But how would you do? A small sigil that's like that, like without all the detail. Well, you could see an asterisk, right? You could also put that together as uh, the hexagram, right? Because we're often thinking about bees. I've, yeah. Uh, and you, you could do the little asterisk inside of that. Cool. Because like when I see rebuilding and I see connections, I always think about how the spiders are always rebuilding the web, you know? Mm -hmm. And I keep a lot of 2022, I just keep thinking of repairing the web between all of us. Go that way. Spiders seem so solitary to me though. And <laughs> they're basically waiting to entrap somebody in there. Like well, not start. when they're having their babies and there's hundreds of them. Losing <laughs> 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 and swarming everywhere. Dad, I can always count on you to take the, the most gossip on this. I, I do like that it looks like the inside of, of the beehive because when I think of community like that, it's definitely the hive all working together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing in kind of both of those, those connections. Yeah. Um, and this first one, in the, the one in the middle here is almost like a little slices of pie too. So we're kind of bringing in that, mm -hmm. come, come, come in, come for the pie, come for the punching pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
And our last one is environmental, words are hard, environmental stewardship, earth focus. Um, love of nature was another one. I didn't get all those words in there. Uh, hmm? Another tree, perhaps? Could be a tree. Could Oh, it could be like a little, that could be a little conifer. Oh, there you go. Get some little conifers going. <laughs> um, could could also be... Sorry? A leaf, a leaf. Water droplet. Could be a leaf. Water could be cool. a water droplet. Could be the elemental symbol for Earth. What is the elemental symbol for Earth? I don't recall. Is it a triangle with a line kind of? Um, it, the triangle is fat on top, pointy on the bottom, and has a line through it. It's sort of like the beginning of the E, but mm -hmm. it's a triangle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then you have the other variation where it's a triangle without the line in it, too, um, which is the two variations to talk about in Um, Or you can also think of it as a circle with a little tiny dot in it. <laughs> the boob circle. The boob <laughs> well or the perfect <laughs> circle, you know. <laughs> Sorry. It works. It works. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> we're, we're all adults here, right, Matt? Absolutely. <laughs> it's overrated. It's overrated. <laughs> and welcome to the rest of the internet joining us this evening. This is how this is how <laughs> circles get made. So we we talk about boobies. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's good. All right. So we have a fantastic grouping of symbols and marks here, and. Now the point is going, all right, we have this board with all of these things in here and we're going to try to, let's see if I can make this a little bigger for me to work on. Okay, where do we want to start? All right, this I is- one remark, like sort of, because like we do have a lot of like rod-like symbols and like, for example, like the healing with the twiny energy, it would be cool to incorporate the wand of, like, I'm not sure I'm gonna pronounce it right, but like the wand of Asclepius or the Cadia staff type elements into it. Mm -hmm. as like sort of like a backbone and build the other elements around it. I think that's a great idea. I was just gonna say, since the healing was sort of the main thing, and we talked about the Caduceus or the, yeah, the Sclepios um, coming through. I think that is a great place to start. So let us start with, I'm gonna grab a line here. Now for, for, th for folks who are following away at home, <laughs> So often how this is done is when you're drawing these sigils out and trying to figure it out, we go through many different iterations or sometimes we get a hole in one. Um, we don't have a lot of space here, so we're just going to see how this goes. Um, I might have to erase um, just to clean up some space. Rhymes. So I think I am going to just move it over a little bit here. So let's go for... our line here first. Okay. So this is our, our rod. And right away, kind of thinking about those rod elements, um, my eye is drawn to health, it's drawn to that little sword and justice. Um, and also all of these kind of tree like elements that we've got going on here. So I've already got that going on in my head and thinking about that. So Knowing I want to bring in some of the wavy elements in here, I'm wondering if I just kind of want to make that a little side note and I'm going to bring them in because trying to draw on top of it might get a little complicated. Um, so even though that's where I want to start, I'm just making the mental block that I can see. I'm just going to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here, that I can see something like this moving through. Yeah. Right? But it's going to be really hard to draw the other elements in there. So we're just going to pretend we know that that's going to come into this. Uh, so we have our rod coming through. And if we are going to think about, I like, I really do like, um, let's say, well, let's make a little note about what we've got going on here. So we have asterisks showing up for happiness and joy. We know that health as a base element of that plus can also be related to the asterisk. 
Um, we also have upward growth and nobility, so kind of those things going on in there. Um, we also have the asterisk showing up, like I said, in here. So let's see, do we have, we don't have a little polygon, but let's put our polygon in the center here. A little hexagram. Okay. All right, so with that, I'm just going to put it on here's a little X versus our eight. So we have six and six running through that. Um, a little different than our slice of pie, but we'll see how that's gonna go, right? So kind of making a little mental note about these things here. Mm -hmm. And if we start seeing little aspects of our trees. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I'm gonna do three. That one's a little messy. See how that looks. All right. We have, so a little bit of our, this and this. So love, compassion. What if we extend it out? Redo that. So we get the heart extending out through our little center hexagram. Um, so love and compassion is building off of there. Kind of nice going on in there. And happiness, joy, and health. Got those things going in there. And hmm. So. With that, I've got a different idea for our little snake energy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Okay. So it was a good solution to wait on <laughs> bringing that in. So we now have that intertwining energy. It also works well for bringing in that renew, refresh, kind of the Ouroboros energy, but it's growing and moving out. Mm -hmm. um, so we've kind of shifted that up to the next level. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna extend this down. Now I'm gonna put an asterisk on the bottom here, which is, oops, it's a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that we get health as well as our happiness and joy and also touches back into here. So we've got that going on in here. Now, if I was going to play with this a little bit more and I'm thinking about um, our focus and discernment, right? As well as our inner peace and calm. So what if, in here, we have our eye, which is also, so technically kind of blowing that up a little bit. Imagine it, it's like this circle and then the little circle. So that's what's going on in there. That's not part of the sigil, by the way. <laughs> that's a design note. <laughs> Everybody got that? Yep. Okay. There is. My God, there's like an invisible cat at my feet. Okay, that's great to know. Uh, so got that in there. Uh, and kind of when we're thinking about, so we got the inner calm, right? So it's kind of moving in through the center of healing in here. Um, we got our healing through our little spirals. And I feel like I just want to bring in some aspects of where we want to go with this. Okay. 
and I think four. So when we think about 2022, we're thinking about four, we're thinking about stability. And four as the number of the emperor, as well as four within the minor arcana, is bringing us a sense of healing and stability within there. So, I don't know about y'all, but that's pretty snazzy. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Hey, so in a little sense of looking at um, if I wanted to do a little bit of refinement, so let me just clear uh, this in here. Um, let's see what we got going on. I'm also just a little bit curious as I'm redrawing this. So if you're all wondering, I am drawing on a laptop, so this is not quite like drawing on a tablet. <laughs> it makes it uh, a little less fun. All right, so if we did draw it this way, let's just see what this looks like. I'm curious. We can bring our heart in. So we bring this through this through and we have our eye and we have our asterisk and we have our little arrows So the only difference that ends up being is putting that line through the center. Yeah. What do we think about the line versus the no line? The line brings in like thoughts of the scales for like justice and balance. Mm. And it brings in another uh, plus sign for health. It does. Mm -hmm. so it looks like the way. turn of the wheel which is nice for an end of the year sigil mm -hmm. then we we get that little touch of um stability all right so i think that is going to stay and that way we have that little bisecting in here when i clean this up i'm probably going to make these lines match a little closer mm -hmm. to here right so that they're hitting those points um but these will all be even weight I'm going to hit the save. Saved. It has now been saved. <laughs> <It's not> saved. <laughs> I'm kind and, of wondering how would it look if there was like a half circle at the bottom for grounding it all down? A half circle at the bottom. So you mean like down here? Uh huh. Hmm. To give it a really good foundation, to, to give it something to stand on. Hmm. It, it does look anchored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful development process is fascinating it also mm -hmm. brings in that releasing energy we were talking about that's oh, true point so. yeah and it it gives us a little bit another hint of that eye um yep oh a little allusion to that good idea robin really excellent yep so with this, you you know, cars can do it in any any colors you want, any sort of color schemes and kind of playing around. If there's something else you're like, oh, well, I see it this way, then you can totally do it that way. Um, the thing about a sigil for the year, this is a lot of personal development and also what you might be directing towards your community. Uh, so while it works on the factors of shared magic, uh, I think still anchoring all of those ideas together, as long as they have those similar points, even if they look slightly different, it's still going to have the power necessary because you're thinking about all of these things in there. And keeping mm -hmm. in mind that a, a sigil like this is 
a solution is not necessarily the solution uh, because there's a lot of different variations in here. So what you bring to the table is important. So if you're like, I want to make it all bright blue, then you can make it all bright blue. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're like, I want to make them into snakes and then the snakes go into little heads that go through the heart. You could totally do that, be pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> you see that like little, dit, 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 dit. little snake in there dit, 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 dit. little snake in the air not exactly but <laughs> so all right i'm going to stop the recording in here i'm going to stop the share for a moment actually if you want to um before i do that if you want to uh just kind of save the screen as you like to on your own device I can do that in here. I will also, as I put this into a blog, there'll be a little version of this as well. But if you want to get drawing now, not wait for me to do this um, in a few days, you can do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit the stop share. And I am going to stop the recording. So thanks for everybody who is rejo joining us for just the recording. This is your end. Bye.